Today we are replacing on this lovely 2013 2.5 Outback, it should be the same for many other FB25 motors, this PCV. And that's positive crankcase ventilation. It's just a bit of a... Uh, it's somewhere for the pressure to go for the oil. It just dumps it back into the intake manifold. It does get gummed up over the years and can lead to engine oil consumption issues. And we're trying to minimize that for this uh, FB25. This is a 2013. Uh, they do use tend to use more oil than others, but uh, we're trying to make it as good as possible. We just got done doing the valve cover gaskets, and now we're going to do the PCV valve. Uh, I had to go to the ATM machine and double check my pin number with the VIN number. <laughs> I said PCV valve. I did it. But uh, we'll go ahead and get started. So down here is where we want to be. If you can see, let's get a good shot right there in the center this bit of hose that goes down not this collect connector but uh, behind it and i believe we can just pull this off there you go <laughs> yeah i wouldn't be well actually that feels okay i wouldn't be surprised yeah. if some of these get brittle with age so and let's see is it a 14 i can't see it so mm, there's up oh, there it is i see it now. Huh? Nope. Nope, it's a 16. Seven. Seven. No, 17. It's so far away. But, I mean, you go straight down, that's... Yeah. Honestly, that's very thoughtful. Yeah, that's actually really nice. <laughs> and, no, it's okay, a 19. it is a 19. Yeah. So it is just like a replacement. Yeah, so you will need a 19 mil socket and a long extension, and you might need a pair of pliers to get that hose off, but uh, this one... We haven't had that manifold off, have we? We had the air box off when we did the yeah, transmission. We didn't, the we didn't touch the manifold. Uh, yeah. We're going to go ahead and change that out real quick. So, well, I have, it should be a $10-ish part. So, uh, from the factory, it's probably a 20-ish dollar part. $25 at auto parts. Oh, all right. That's more than I would expect. It was because uh, it's metal. Mm. It's not a plastic one. extension on an extension there we yeah. go so you just i mean we have to double up our extensions here but well, that's plenty long One, that's all. we are using an auto ratchet however you don't need to do that uh, in fact this auto ratchet can only do like ooh what can it do like 20 pounds <laughs> not even 20 10 10 i'm gonna get something that i feel better pushing on it's just there to make, uh, when you're in tight quarters, it's extremely useful. Yeah, that one would be great. Leverage. Nope. There you, go. there you go. And we are... Almost we done. Have, we have done nothing, and we're almost done. You might need a magnet on a stick if it won't come out. Did it come out? Nope. It fell over. Uh, I see it. I don't know where it went. That's magnet on the stick. Oop. <laughs> yep, magnet on a stick is great. Uh, if you buy one tool today and you don't have one of these, you don't even need to get the flexi one. Yeah, it's a little gummy. You can hear oil in it. Yeah, it's, it's just a valve that opens and closes. Yeah. I've heard of people just cleaning them. Oh, yeah. All right. I've heard of people just cleaning them, but I'm like, eh. Yeah, they're cheap. Can you put that in by hand? And so we're threading. There we go. Yep. And then when you tighten this, tighten it as much as you can without, uh, without tools because you don't want to cross thread that. And this is a great example of why I like the auto ratchet. You're not going to cross any threading with this. And yeah. Well, like that's all right that's the job isn't it yeah i think sure yeah put that hose on and we're done so hope this video helped you that was absurdly easy they always are hope this video helped you thanks for watching